Have you ever felt that you've built the most amazing Notion workspace, but you're really struggling to maintain it? I know that feeling all too well but Notion has really allowed you to up-level and power your workspace even further with automations. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to build your own custom Notion automations to level up your workspace. Hi, my name is Adama Shoyo, and if you're new to my channel, I talk about all things relating to personal branding, content marketing, productivity, and entrepreneurship. This is the final video in my series, Power Your Marketing in Notion. But don't worry, I'm still gonna have more Notion videos to come. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about how to automate some of your workflows using the Notion API. If you're unfamiliar with Notion, Notion is an all-in-one productivity tool. It allows you to manage your tasks, keep track of different documents, or you can even use it for really fun stuff like managing your home or keeping track of your plants or keeping track of like your favorite restaurants. The point of it is, is that you can use Notion for anything you want to. And by Notion starting off as a blank slate, you're able to customize it and tailor it to your needs and the way your brain works. I've been using Notion for probably almost two to three years now. And one of the biggest things that was really evangelizing the Notion community was when is the API coming out? For the days of the API, I felt like I was able to do so much in Notion, but not everything that I wanted to. And I found myself copying and pasting different things in different places when I really could just have rathered have it in one particular area. Now with the Notion API, I'm able to bring in more of the information that I consume online or work with online into my workspace and have those visuals so I don't have to keep leaving the app every single time. With the API, it does allow you to code some things on your own. If you aren't familiar or comfortable with coding, there are such great no-code tools such as Zapier and Automate.io that do all of the no-code work for you. When it comes to automating, it can be very tempting to just automate everything right away, but when you automate too much, things can start to get lost and confused. So if you're just getting started with adding automations, I definitely recommend that you start slow and then work your way up. If you're trying to figure out what you should automate, ask yourself, what are some tasks that you keep repeating? And what are some tasks that you keep repeating that you are able to outsource to someone else? Now, when you take those tasks that you feel like you can outsource to someone else, ask yourself if there is a way that you could automate it so that this task can be done without a human involved. And this step is especially for my solopreneurs who are out here creating content or building a business on their own and may not have as much help as a full team before you want to consider adding more people to your team or really hiring someone Taking a chance at automating might actually save you a little bit of time to having to onboard someone and really get them up to speed, but also money as well. Take an audit of all of the things that you currently do within your business or as you're building your brand and ask yourself, is there a way that I can automate this? Before I dive into the demos, leave me a comment down below and tell me what is one thing that you wanna automate. I'd love to chat with you on how that is possible within Notion. Now I'm going to show you one of the integrations that I have, which is connecting my content assessment to the leads tracking database. The first thing that you want to do before you go over to Zapier is you want to make sure that you already have the integration connected within your workspace. So I've already um, have mine connected. But essentially, you would open up this tab section where it says develop or manage my integrations. And then it'll take you to this page where you go ahead and specify how you want this connection to work overall. Once you've established that connection, you want to make sure that it appears here in the connections list so that it has the ability to read the content, insert the content, and update the content. Now we're going to go to Notion. I already have this filled out, so I'm just going to walk you through what I have. So we have this new trigger. We have specified the app, and then the event is a new record, and we know that we're using Airtable. This is the name of the base and then this is the name of the table the action is to create a new database item within notion so here we have the notion um, app we specify the event 
We also type in the database name that we're going to use, and then we look to see like the information that we want to capture. Right now in Notion, I just capture the social media handle, their name, the quiz score, and then the time that that happened. I've already gone ahead and created a tester just to see how this automation works. So you can see that from this quiz right here, when you scroll to the bottom, submit everything, wait a little bit, and now I can see the results of it all. So that is how you create your Airtable to Notion connection. If you would like to grab some of my Notion templates, click the link in my description box and check them out now. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below, what is one thing that you are looking to automate within Notion? I look forward to reading your comments. Also, check out this playlist right here so you can see all of the other videos that I have relating to Notion. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.